Hi there everybody! Cozy games have really evolved a lot since I first played Harvest Moon back in the late 90s. Back then they were really just more of like time sinks, but nowadays they've turned into like a whole genre in and of themselves. So today I want to spend some time going over 15 upcoming cozy games that y'all can play this year. A lot of them don't actually have release dates or anything, they're just coming out sometime this year for multiple systems as well, and I figured that I'd just kind of go over them in alphabetical order, so I do hope that everybody enjoys. First up, Alchemic Cutie. To be released for the PS4 and 5, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, and PC over on June 16th. Now this is just adorable. This is a relaxing and cathartic JRPG about jellies and their place in the world. You have to go out and tame some wild jellies and then breed them, and each jelly has unique stats and traits, giving them their own little personality. And the more variety that you have, the better that they'll do in the jelly competitions held around town. You can also morph and buff your jellies through alchemy too, but when you're not raising up those jellies, you're going to be getting to know the townsfolk and exploring the island to unravel all of its mysteries. Number 2. Atelier Marie Remake The Alchemist of Salberg to be released on July 12th for the PS4, PS5, Switch, and PC. If you're not aware, this is actually a full-on remake of the very first Atelier game, which was originally released for the PlayStation only in Japan, but now it is getting a worldwide release. As this is a remake of a much older game, there are still some archaic mechanics present, such as a time limit, fatigue mechanics whenever you craft, and having to hire party members to help you fight before venturing out into the world to defeat all those little baddies. But if you can stand all that, and you're interested in the history of video games and seeing where they all come from like I am, then I'm sure that you can find something to enjoy here. And hey everybody, if you're liking this, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe with notifications on so you can get some more great content. And with that, number 3, Critter Crops, to be released for the Nintendo Switch and PC. There seems to be a lot of witch-themed cozy RPGs out there, and you'll see quite a few on this list, but this one's really cute. It's 100% hand-drawn, and it's kind of like a Halloween theme. You play as Sylvie, who was kicked out of her hometown because, of course, you know, she's a witch. So you're then invited to live on an island alongside various critter crops. There, you'll unlock your newfound abilities and magical spells to protect yourself and your critters, as well as use your powers to help restore the island back to its former glory. Number 4. Europa, to be released for the PC. When I first heard this name, I immediately thought of Jupiter's moon Europa, which actually might harbor life under its icy ocean. But if you think that this is about exploring a super cold Jovian moon, then you'd be wrong. Because instead, this Europa is absolutely gorgeous, and an explorer's paradise. It's green, verdant, and alive. Well, alive with plant life at least, because here you play as an android, Z, whose mission is to uncover what happened to civilization as well as humanity. Number 5, Fall of Porcupine, to be released on June 15th for the PS4, PS5, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Well, this is cute. You actually play as a pigeon, not a porcupine, oddly enough, but that's because Porcupine is the name of the town, and it takes place in the fall, you know, Fall of Porcupine. So the whole thing's just like a double entendre. You take on the role of Dr. Finley, and you treat your patients through minigames. But as you go around exploring the town, you'll find that not everything is as it seems. Dishonesty abounds, and what seems friendly at first might actually be sinister under the surface. And here, also, there is a demo that you can check out over on the Steam if you want to. Number 6, The Garden Path, to be released for the PC and Nintendo Switch. Atmospheric, autumnal, gorgeous games with hand-drawn illustrations do seem to be in vogue with these cozy games. The Garden Path follows a real-time progression with not only a day-night cycle, but a seasonal one too. And here, the seasons only last 7 days, and the year just 28 days. So it does move along at a pretty brisk pace as you cultivate your garden, meet vegetable folk, and play at your own pace, while losing yourself in that relaxing soundtrack. Number 7, Katori Academy, to be released in May for the PC, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, and PS5. Another cozy game, another magical theme! But here you don't play as a witch, you instead play as a wizard's apprentice, along with your familiar, a cat spirit. Set at the Wizard's Academy, you'll attend classes to develop your magical skills, but also catch bugs, fish, forage, cook, 
and chill with your cat on the side. The basic premise is to bond with your familiar, learn more in your magical classes and improve your abilities, and of course, discover all the mysterious secrets of the Academy. Number 8, Lottle Knot, to be released for the PC. This is a power wash swimulator. It's a super cute underwater adventure set on an alien planet that was previously polluted by a mega corporation, but now the whole planet's abandoned and just left a wasteland. Taking place entirely underwater, it's your job to clean up the ocean while simultaneously taking care of tiny creatures called lottles. While underwater, you're limited by your oxygen meter, but don't worry too much about that, because it's really all about cleaning, washing, and coddling those lottles, and maybe even pretending like you're Captain Planet while you're doing so. Number 9. Mika and the Witch's Mountain, to be released for the Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox, and PC. We have yet another witch-themed cozy game, but this one's really cool. Because here you take on the role of a witch who gets to fly around the world on a broomstick while delivering packages all across the Isle of Winds. Of course, that isle is full of mysteries that this little girl has to solve, all while learning to love herself and come of age. Ultimately, you'll need to get the magic broom that will allow you to ascend to the top of the mountain, but there is plenty to do in the meantime as you do work your way up to the top, one broomstick at a time. Number 10, Miniko's Night Market, to be released on September 26th for the PC and Switch, and then October 26th over on the PlayStation and Xbox. I first saw this in Nintendo's Indie Showcase about a month or so ago, where I fell in love with it. You play as a new arrival to a small town on Mount Fugu, where locals have a history of worshipping the sun cat Abe. But recently, Abe has come to life, and he appears around town. So of course, you're going to need to get to the bottom of that, while also solving puzzles, befriending the residents, and buying and selling items in the eponymous night market. Number 11, Paper Trail, to be released for the PS4, PS5, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, PC, and mobile. This could very well be one of the most unique games on this list. At its core, it's a puzzle game, where you're tasked with guiding Paige to the university, and you can do this screen by screen by folding the paper in a kind of origami fashion in order to guide her on her way. It's simultaneously incredibly unique, while also super simple. And I don't think that I've ever seen anything like it, so I automatically love it. Number 12, Pico, to release in quarter two for the PC. If you liked Coffee Talk or the recently released Affogato, then I think that this might be right up your alley. Pico is all about brewing tea and serving it to cats. I mean, what's better than that? I have heard of these cafes in Japan that are like full of cats, so this does have a basis in reality. And here, you are the newest resident in town and the owner of a tea house, and it's your job to harvest the tea leaves and combine them in such a way as to create different teas and even upgrade your establishment as you progress. So, go on and make those little kitties happy. Number 13, Pixel Shire, A Day in Arcadia, to be released for the PC. This is a neat one. It's not just a Harvest Moon or a Stardew Valley clone, it's very much its own thing. I mean, yeah, you do have your farming, foraging, crafting, and mining, as well as your townsfolk that you can befriend and romance. But you also have terraforming, an entire continent to explore with tons of different locations, NPCs who move into your town so you actually need to design and build houses for them, and adventures that you can go on with different NPC companions. The whole thing just looks so neat. Number 14, Spirit T, to be released on the PS4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, and PC. What happens whenever you cross Earthbound with the Studio Ghibli film, but set it amongst Stardew Valley? Well, then you might get something like this. You play as a writer who moved off to the countryside hoping to finish his book, but, you know, writing a book doesn't really make for a compelling game, so you push your writing aspirations off to the side to instead befriend the locals, catch bugs, dig for treasure, gather up some tea leaves, play in the arcade, and bathe in the bathhouse. Along the way, though, you will encounter spirits who inhabit this land. And finally, number 15, Wholesome, Out and About, to be released for the PS4, Xbox, PC, and Nintendo Switch. They really gotta stick it in your face here, don't they? We're going over wholesome games, and this game is literally called Wholesome. Well, I guess there is something to be said for direct marketing. Anyway, this features some pretty extensive character customization, and you set off into the wilderness to forage, gather, and identify real-life plants. Then, 
Once you've collected them, you can go home, cook recipes, and sell your creations at the farmer's market to purchase more furniture for your cottage and decorate up your little home. So that's it for 15 upcoming cozy games that you can play this year. What did you think about the list? Let me know in the comments. And if you liked this video and wanted to do it on the channel, please consider following me over on Twitter, supporting me on Patreon for exclusive videos and early access to my content, heading on over to Twitch for streaming fun, or coming on over to my Discord to chat and hang out. The links to them all can be found in the video description. This has been David, and if you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.